normal times and during a, p a pandemic, something that people turn to often for, um, m for uh, creative time, for something fun to do, for a, for a hobby, or uh, even for a profession is art. And we are pleased to be joined now by the director of the Pontiac Creative Arts Center, Joy Dockham, joins us on the Oakland County Megacast. Joy, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Appreciate having you on. How are you and how's the team over at the Pontiac Creative Arts Center? Well, I mean, obviously it has been a very interesting and challenging year, but um, we are excited to have made it through this last year and to be moving forward and now being able to host exhibits and things like that. We're excited about it. For those that aren't familiar, what is the Pontiac Creative Arts Center? What do you do? It's an organization that's actually been around since 1964. Um, Dr. Furlong, I'll give you a little quick bit of history of local history. Uh, Dr. Furlong was the only Michigan um, military personnel during World War I to win a Medal of Honor. And then he came home, he joined um, the National Guard and ended up going back as a surgeon during World War II. And in the middle, he got his, um, he got his medical degree from University of Michigan. And so he was an OBGYN in Pontiac for like 50 years. And so as he was ending his years as a doctor, he, um, in conjunction at the time with the city of Pontiac, they opened the Pontiac Creative Arts Center. So we've been around for a while, um, but sometimes we're a little too good of a secret, if that makes sense. And so we've been really working on letting people know we're here and what we can offer the community. So what is offered? What are some of the programs or the special exhibits that are offered over time at the Pontiac Creative Arts Center? What we do normally during a typical year is we will have exhibits every eight, six to eight weeks. We will change an exhibit. It will have a particular theme. Um, it may focus on um, a particular group of folks. Um, it, may fo it may, or a particular type of art. Uh, we usually have those, like I said, every six to eight weeks. And then we also offer clubs and classes. So for example, the things that we are coming up first this summer, because we weren't sure what COVID restrictions would be when we were making our plans, um, we are doing a pop exhibit, which is, it stands for um, Peas of Pontiac. And literally artists have decorated the letter P in all kinds of ways. I mean, I can't even explain the uniqueness of them. And so we've been taking it on the road. The next place that we're going to is the summer social at the Oakland History Center in July on the 24th and 25th, we'll be there. And then we'll also have, if you are a community person that would like to decorate your own pea and add to the exhibit, we'll have those for you to decorate. And then we also run clubs. Right now we have a fiber arts club, a clay club, which is ceramics and a photography club. And then we are working on growing those. And currently are those programs and those clubs that are in place, are they currently happening in person or have they been happening virtually over the course of the pandemic? They've been virtual over the last year. Play Club will start in about two weeks in person. And then we are planning to continue that into August and September that everything will be, um, you can come in person. And then we're also going to try to offer an online component for folks that either due to health or maybe they're just not quite ready to be in a group of strangers yet. We're joined by Joy Dockham on the Oakland County Megacast. She is the director of the Pontiac Creative Arts Center. And, and Joy, over the course of the pandemic, you mentioned you had some virtual, you've had virtual programs that have persisted throughout the pandemic and may continue on after the pandemic. But in terms of the exhibits and pr providing uh, this level of, a, of an ability for artists to showcase their work here in the local area. How has that continued on throughout the pandemic? Because a lot of the, a lot of art viewing is tangible. It's being there in person. It's seeing the textures. It's mm -hmm. seeing the different forms of art that you just can't really get virtually. It was, it was tricky and scary, if you want the truth. Um, we were not sure at first because at first, you know, we all thought this might be a shorter period of time than it was. So we had just put up an exhibit, it was called Pathways, and it was an exhibit featuring um, Middle Eastern artists, and that was March of, of 2020. So we took that one, when we realized we were not gonna be able to reopen, we went ahead and got a virtual exhibit um, and put that online. Then it got harder because that was very time consuming and it's hard to engage people in that way. So um, we were able to do another exhibit and this I think we kind of fine tuned a little bit more by February. We did, we always do a big African-American artist um, exhibit in February. And this year we were able to have online components. We, had, we did a poetry component. We did um, like 
some people doing other art, other types of art that weren't just like, here's a portrait or here's um, something that's hanging on a wall. And so we were able to kind of focus on different forms of art that were a little easier to put on video than just to walk around the room looking at pictures. We're joined by Joy Dockham. She is the director of the Pontiac Creative Arts Center here on the Oakland County Megacast. And Joy, this organization, it is a, a, is a 501c3 nonprofit. I, so, um, most of, so, so most of the funding for this, or the, entirely the funding for this, comes from donations. How did that persist over the course of the pandemic? And, and is this an organization that's having some struggles right now, as many have, because donations were down over the course of the pandemic due to the financial struggles that so many people had to deal with? It was um, very difficult, especially the first few months, because all revenue essentially was drying up. We do have a little bit of money that um, Dr. Furlong had set a trust up. So we are allowed, and it's all based on like how much interest is the trust makes in money each month. And we get a small amount, but it's like enough to keep like lights and heat on. It's not enough to pay people and, and pay for programming. So we just, I think did a, what a lot of nonprofits did. We just scrambled and figured out how to keep the doors open. Um, as the year went on, grants became available and we were able to get grants through um, both Oakland County and the state of Michigan and some federal money. Um, so we just kept like month by month, like, okay, we're gonna be okay this month. Okay, let's figure out what we can do this month. How can we engage the community? How can we still provide art to people? We did a lot of, um, we started a program we called Create at Home, which started with um, brown bag art kits where um, Twice a month on the second and the fourth of the month, Monday at 10 a.m., there are art kits on our front porch that families can come just pick up for their kids, they're free. Then we started uh, uh, taking um, Clay Club. You could come get the art kit and then bring it back and we would fire it for you and you could come pick up your pottery. So we just started rolling with the situation and you know, letting people know here, we're still here. We still care about the community. We still wanna help and um, we kind of figured if we could just get through the summer, then we would be all right. And um, fingers crossed, I think we're gonna make it through the summer. Well, we have our fingers crossed over here for you most definitely. Um, <laughs> Thank clearly you. Clearly you're doing some fantastic things, but what would you say makes the Pontiac Creative Arts Center different and unique from maybe some other communities' creative arts centers? I think every art center is gonna take on the personality of the community and the people. Um, I think, I mean, we are not necessarily, we're not DIA, okay? But we're not trying to be. We're trying to meet another niche. My goal is to sort of have art available at whatever level you enjoy it. If you enjoy coming and looking at the exhibits with sculptures and paintings, fantastic, we have a spot for you. If you wanna take a class to learn how to take better um, pictures with your iPhone, we'd like to have you come for that. Uh, sort of we want to meet people where they're at not expect them to be something for us so i think that's something that makes us unique whatever your impression of art is we've probably got something you will enjoy we're joined by joy dockham on the oakland county megacast she's the director of the pontiac creative arts center and, and joy as you mentioned you have a number of classes some that are uh, virtual and some that are going to be in person or will continue to be in person at this time. And right now, what are some of those programs that are available and how can people get involved in these programs? Do they have to uh, sign up for them early or can they join them kind of in progress if they're already occurring? You can pretty much join anytime you want. Um, <clears throat> this fall, we will have some specific classes. For instance, on this last Sunday, we did a Indigo dye workshop, which I had never done that. And it was really fun, actually. Um, I was nervous I wouldn't do it right, but it was, you don't need to be nervous about trying new things in art. You need to just come and have fun. Um, so those are posted on our website. So if you go to um, Pontiac Arts with an S dot org, you will be able to access the upcoming classes and the clubs, and that will continue to be updated as new things are scheduled for the fall. Um, and then, so we have two dye workshops coming up, also different classes, one in one July 18th and one August 15th. And then our Create at Home program is still running as well as, well, yoga will start again, probably about the middle of August. 
uh, Fiber Arts Club and Clay Club will both continue. And you can join at any time. You can join for one month. You can join for a class. You're, there is no commitment. Just come and have fun with us. And Joy, are these classes available to anyone or are they specifically just to members or is there, is there a mix of both? Everything is, involved in, um, is welcome to everyone. Okay, and so for those that, but, but people can continue while they're taking these classes to support the Pontiac Creative Arts Center through membership and, and through donations. Is there, is there one or the other? Can they make just a simple donation if people want to donate to an organization like yours or do they have to become a member in order to make those donations? No, anyone is welcome to donate whatever they would like. Um, sometimes people, and, and I think of donations as more than just money. If you have time, if you have, um, if you have a particular skill, we're always looking for instructors to offer um, interesting classes. If there's a skill you have you'd like to share with others, we would be interested in talking with you. So, I mean, I look at donations in whatever way they come. We are excited about them. Yeah, and so yeah, and that, that was my next question was, is it just money or is it also time? So for those that do have some expertise in art or do have some skills that they would uh, be able to teach other people or lead some of these classes or help them out, how can they best get in contact with the Pontiac Creative Arts Center to volunteer their time? The best way is to email. If you just email office at PontiacArtsWithAnS.com, I get those emails and um, I would be happy to speak with them on what they are interested in sharing. Joy Dockham joins us on the Oakland County Megacast. She's the director of the Pontiac Creative Arts Center. And Joy, there's always a lot of events going on. You said every six to eight weeks or so uh, in normal times, you would have a new exhibit that would be filing through the Pontiac Creative Arts Center. So what are some of these upcoming events that are being held by the Arts Center, both in person and virtually as we're heading through the summer? The uh, first thing that we've got coming up is a called Fuel for the Soul, and it is a car art exhibit that will open up during um, the Pontiac Dream Cruise. The first opening of it will be August 21st from 1 to 5, and um, that is going to focus primarily on cars of the 50s and 60s, although there will be memorabilia and art from earlier times as well. Um, and that we are partnering with the Pontiac Transportation Museum for that exhibit. We will um, have in November, we will have the pop, uh, kind of the final closing of the exhibit. Um, we, like I said before, we've been traveling a couple of different places during the summer, but we will host a final closing of that exhibit in November. And then in December, we are going to do part fundraiser, part exhibit. We have been collecting crazy, uh, like holiday Christmas type sweaters, and we're going to auction them off. They'll be displayed as art and then they'll be auctioned. Um, for money to raise for the center. We're joined by Joy Dockham, the director of the Pontiac Creative Arts Center with us on the Oakland County Megacast. It's a 501c3 nonprofit organization located uh, in Pontiac. And, and Joy, as we're going forward and we're coming out of this pandemic, we've seen the impact that art has had on people throughout the pandemic, whether it be therapeutic or professional, whatever the case may be. Why is art in an organization like yours so important to the community, particularly in Pontiac, but even beyond that, just in the local area? I think it is a place to connect. Um, we live in a world that sometimes becomes very virtual, even and this last year was such, uh, such an extreme of that. And I think sometimes something that will bring us together is, is the beauty of art. And like I said, sometimes people think art is only you know, if it's a Van Gogh or it's, you know, some other well-known famous artist, but really it can be something you did with your family or you did with a friend and it brings that memory and a connection with another person. Joy Dockham with us on the Oakland County Megacast. She is the director of the Pontiac Creative Arts Center. And Joy, just another couple of minutes with you before we'll have to say goodbye today. Is there anything else that you'd like to discuss about the Pontiac Creative Arts Center? Or anything that would be interesting or important for our audience to know today? I think just that we'd love to have you come and visit. Um, and I think one of the great things about us is we're not locking you into anything. You can come for a class, you can come for an exhibit, you can just come to poke your head in and say hello one day. Um, we would love to have the opportunity to meet you and get to know you in whatever ways you're interested in your art. Well, Joy, we thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It was very enjoyable to speak with you.